JP, 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 the JP, 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 the JP, JP, the JP show. <laughs> ladies, for the ladies, if you're wondering why you look good, you're 20 something, 30 something, 40 something, and you're looking good, you're a professional. You got all these different things going on. You got your own home, your own this, your own that. And you're wondering why you're single? It's mainly because you're unapproachable and you got a bad attitude. For the ladies, for the ladies, if you're wondering why you come home every night and you by yourself and you got nobody to hang out with, you got no guy, you got a lot of girlfriends to hang out with, but you got no guy, you know what I'm saying, to hang out with, to do things with, to cuddle up in bed, to watch your favorite movie with or your favorite show with. You wondering why? I know you're wondering. I hear the women all the time. I'm, I'm single and I got all this stuff going on and I'm a professional and I look good and I do this and I do that. And, and you're wondering and you're wondering and you're wondering. It's because you're unapproachable. You're un approachable one and some of you are unapproachable with bad attitudes so <laughs> you're really listen you're really not gonna find nobody you know what i'm saying until you fix your attitude and you become more approachable change your energy a lot of times it comes down to ladies it comes down to your energy change your energy i was at the airport a couple of weeks ago and I walked up, very nice and very friendly. I walked up to this lady and I needed her help with checking in. And this is not even in New York. This is in Houston. Man, she gave me, I mean, whatever's going on in her life, she gave it to me. She transferred her energy onto me. Very nasty, very rude. You could tell she don't have no man because ain't no man going to be coming home to that. It's just real. No man is going to come home to that. And if he do, he might come home for a little while, but he going to be out eventually. No guy. No guy is coming. For the ladies, guys don't have to take your shit. And we're going to keep it real today. Listen, we're going to keep it all the way funky today. For the ladies, guys do not have to take your shit. Okay? You're unapproachable. You got bad attitude and you're rude. And you're wondering why you're single. You're wondering. You're sitting at home and you're looking around and you're cooking for yourself. And you're wondering like, uh, wh why, am, why am I single? You got three things that's going on bad for you. Unapproachable, bad attitude, and you're rude. So you got to figure out a way to change some of that. Change some of that energy. For the bad, I mean for the, for the unapproachable, you just got to change your energy. You know what I'm saying? You need welcoming energy. There's women out there. For all the ladies that got bad attitude and rude and unapproachable, there are women out there, mostly women that is south of the Mason-Dixie line. There are women out there that, and, and west, Midwest and west, there are women out there that are warm. When you meet them, they are, like you soak up the warmth from them. Like they're so warm and they have great energy. And when they see you, they they approach you like 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 you're Jesus or somebody like I'm not trying to be funny or whatever but it's true they, their approach to you is so welcoming I mean super super welcoming and warm and good energy and you feel the guy it breaks the guy down for the ladies when you come and you're warm and you got good energy and you're welcoming and you're warm it breaks the guy down you know what I'm saying and so for an example I don't have any kids or whatever, but I got nieces and nephews or whatever. And so there's times where, let's say like your niece, like my niece or whatever, when she was little, she might have, you know, we might have been playing around or something happened or whatever the case, or she wanted something. And she would give me that look. She would give me a look that would literally just break me down into pieces. And I had no choice but to submit to her. You know what I'm saying? Because she gave me this look that just crushed, I mean, crushing look that brought me in so much that I had to give her whatever she wanted because she 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 was warm 
and welcoming and she guess she had that you know what I'm saying women you guys don't know that y'all could really break a man down but a lot of women you're not able to do that because you got bad attitude bad attitude you're unapproachable and you're rude and these are three reasons why you are single welcome everybody welcome 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 to the jp show i am your host jp and we're back we're back we're back again for another episode this is season two episode 13. i just want to thank 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 everybody for tuning in to the jp show um listen i do this show every week and every week i'm just very thankful that you know what I'm saying i'm still here for another day i want to thank god that you know, God has, you know, awoken me, you know, every day to be here and to still be on this earth and to be loving life and enjoying life. And so, and I'm able to bring that energy here to you guys. So I just want to thank God first and foremost for waking me up this morning and giving me all the gifts that he's given me throughout my years on this earth. And I just want to say, yo, we're here, we're back. And this is the JP Show. Let's get it on, baby. Listen, we're going to start off the JP Show with get it off your chest, JP. Get it off your chest, JP. Get it off your chest. Yes, get it off your chest, JP. So let's see. Today, I'm going to move a little, try to move. I'm going to try to move a little bit faster today because I got a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about today. So I opened the show up with ladies and bad attitude and rudeness and being unapproachable because, you know, a lot of times I'm hearing a lot of women talk about, you know, they can't get a man and they can't find a man and all this thing about men, 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 men. But, you know, sometimes with the ladies, you got to look within yourself as well. Not on, not just blame everything on the opposite sex and the man. Look within yourself. You know what I'm saying? All right. So this is what I wanted to talk about. This is why I, I want to get off my chest. One of the things I want to get off my chest today was um, cultivating and nurturing, right? So, I'm a little, I would say, like, I'm a little annoyed, upset, a little deterred that I even got to come on here on the JP show and do this because I really don't want to do this. And I feel like it's petty to me, but I just want to say this. Right? Because I got to get it off my chest. And I've been holding this in for a while, but I need to get it off, it, off my chest. So, I need for you guys to cultivate and nurture the JP show. Right? So, I, I do this show every week. I do this show every Tuesday. And I notice that people are watching the show. I am noticing that. The views are going up. I'm getting more views or whatever. And I thank God for that or whatever the case is. You know, I call, I did a call of action and I needed, you know, 100 subscribers. And you guys came through and you gave me 100 subscribers. I appreciate that. But I do, YouTube gives you this basic, they gives you this report basically. and tells you, you know, everything that's going on on your YouTube channel. And on my YouTube channel, people are watching the show but they're not participating, they're not liking, and they're not commenting. Every every time I do the show, I come on here and I tell you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. It's very important to push the show into another stratosphere. You know what I'm saying? This is a grassroots show, but it can't be a grassroots show forever. It, we have to show progress. You know what I'm saying? We need the show to start moving on. You know what I'm saying? So we can get into bigger issues and bigger topics or whatever the case is. So, um, and I'm on season two, you know what I'm saying? And this is episode 13. So I noticed that a lot of people that, you know, they may watch the show, they're not commenting on the show, um, and they're not, they're not liking the show, you know what I'm saying? Now, on YouTube, you could press dislike if you dislike it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know that or not, but you could press dislike if you don't like it. So my thing for this, for get it off your chest, JP, and I was talking to my homegirl. Shout out to my homegirl, Francis. And I'm actually going to call a couple of names out right here. So I got like some followers that, uh, a couple followers that, you know what I'm saying, are really down for me. And that's Francis um, is one. And I talked about previously on other episodes, my homeboy Haywood is two. Like these are two people that I know for sure. If I put content up or whatever the case is, 
they're going to be down. I got other people that's down too, but, you know, I got people that just hit the like button. They see me, I'm JP, and they just hit the like button. I really don't, you know, yeah, you hit the like button, and I appreciate that, and that's love, but I need you to watch the show. Because watching the show is going to help also with the algorithm or whatever. But going back to cultivating, like, if... Like for black people in the black community, the inner community, minorities or whatever, we got to start learning how to cultivate things. This is how we get, you know, all our foods because farmers, they cultivate it, you know what I'm saying? And they nurture it. You know, when plants grow, plants just don't grow. People nurture the plants and they grow. You know what I'm saying? They give the plants what they need. They water the plants. They sing to the plant. They give the plants good energy. The plants grow. You know what I'm saying? And so... With the JP show, all I'm asking for you guys is just to cultivate the JP show, nurture the JP show, and let's watch the JP show grow. Because there's been times where, you know, I'm having a conversation with friends and I'm like, I'm not really sure if it's really worth me continuing on doing the JP show because the JP show is costing me time. You know what I'm saying? Which I love doing the show, but it is costing me time. And I'm not really seeing the likes, the comments, and the subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is for the inner community, for the people of my complexion and minorities of, of my kind, we have to come together and we have to cultivate and we have to nurture each other. So we can all progress. Like when I talk about, talk to my friends or whatever the case is, I don't talk about, yo, JP going to come out. Like I want to bring everybody with me. And people that know me, they know that's how I am. I, it's not about JP. It's about everybody. I'm bringing everybody with me. And I'm giving everybody jobs or whatever the case is. So we all can eat. You know what I'm saying? But in order to do that, the JP show needs to be cultivated and it needs to be nurtured and we need to take it we need i need all hands on deck and this is real and i know people may say oh but i i got doing this and i listen it doesn't hurt to hit the like button to watch the watch the show for boom 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 whenever you can whenever you can listen i know how it is working or whatever i don't work anymore i'm retired but i know how it is when people work i used to work so whenever you can all i'm asking for you is this watch it watch the show and like comment and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the show. But what I'm really asking you to do is cultivate and nurture the show. So, so like, like my boy Haywood, things that I put up, like he shares. Like I don't, I don't, like people don't share the show. Like people are watching, and I see people. I don't know if people know this, but you can see who's watching. So people are, you know, watching the show, but they're not, they're not, they're not. They're not cultivating, they're not nurturing, and they're not sharing the show. When I was coming up, we had a thing called word of mouth, right? It was a big thing, big, big, big thing called word of mouth. So, like, word of mouth back in the day was like sharing. But it might have been, it might have been crazier than sharing because you would say one thing to someone, and it really, if it was a popping thing, it would go all across the world just by word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? And so now today we got word of mouth and we got sharing. So it's like people that I know and people I, I give good energy to or whatever the case is and people that I don't know. It's like I need you. I need to share power. I need you to share. I need the word of mouth. Hey, if you just say, yo, go check out the JP show for one minute, two minutes. Da, da, da. Listen, that's all I need. You know what I'm saying? But we got to cultivate. We got to nurture. You know what I'm saying? Nurture the show. We got to share the show. You know what I'm saying? Because... To be honest with you, and I know it's my show, but JP is really doing everything for the show. I mean, everything. But I need I need the people that's watching on the other side. I need your help with cultivating and nurturing and sharing and getting the show out to the masses. Okay? All right, let's get into, let's see what we got here. All right, so, oh, you know what we're going to do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get into read my profile, JP. Read my profile, JP. Read my profile. Yes, yes. I'm so happy to do this because I think I got some good profiles to read today. So this is always fun. 
So read my profile, JP. All right. So let's start off with let's uh, let's go ahead and start off with the bad profile today. Okay. We want to do that. Let's get the bad profile out the way real quick. All right. So we have a young lady here. She's 34 years old. She has kids. She doesn't say how many kids she has, but she has kids. So she says, stop wasting my time. Very assertive, unvaccinated, a firm believer in herbs, my immune system and God. I love consistency. I hate saggy pants and men in tight pants. I don't drink, I mean, I drink lots of water, so I'm never thirsty. I don't wear makeup, weave, or eye wigs. I can tolerate ugly, but not so much fat, meaning big breastfeeding nipples and a afterbirth stomach. I have enough of that for the both of us. I only got one relationship left in me. We marrying and that's final. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a profile. Let me read it one more time. Stop wasting my time. I'm very assertive, unvaccinated, a firm believer in herbs, my immune system, and God. I love consistency. I hate saggy pants and men in tight pants. I drink lots of water, so I'm never thirsty. I don't wear makeup, weave, or eye wigs. I can tolerate ugly, but not so much fat. Meaning, big breastfeeding nipples and an afterbirth stomach. I have enough of that for the both of us. I only got I only got one relationship left in me. We marry and that's fine. So this is Renee. She's 34 years old. She has kids. Um, so, I'm going to grade this profile. Uh, stop wasting my time. I don't know. Saggy pants. I don't wear makeup. I uh, I'm going to give this profile a zero. I'm actually going to give this profile a zero. Because this is, what, this is the thing about these profiles, the bad profiles. The bad profiles, it's like you're insulting people. Like if I, I'm reading this profile, like, like how would I feel like you're talking down about people, whether or not they big or whatever the case is. You're talking down about people and how people are fat and ugly or whatever the case is. Like, listen, if you don't date ugly people, then don't date ugly people. And I always say that in, in on these profiles. If it's if if you don't smoke weed, then don't you don't smoke weed. Then that's just what it is. You don't have to go in here talking about, oh, if you smoke weed, listen, if you don't smoke weed, then you don't smoke weed. Whatever you don't do, if you're not down with a polygamy or if you're not down with being somebody's third or fourth then listen you're not down with it and you don't really got to put in your profile or whatever but when i was coming up we would have a conversation with people listen i don't really get down like that that's it but uh, you know like when you put this because what you're doing is that a massive amount of people are reading this you know what i'm saying you're attacking one particular type of person but a massive amount of people are reading this you know what I'm saying? So you're coming off kind of smug and you're coming off actually narrow minded. You know what I'm saying? In a box. You know what I'm saying? And you you want to actually have a profile where you're being broad, not being narrow minded. Because this this profile, you're speaking to a particular type of person. There's going to be all types of people that's going to come to your profile. If you're looking for a certain a, a good, let me say, if you're looking for a good guy, a real good human, then this profile is not going to bring you a good human. You know what I'm saying? This profile is going to bring you somebody like yourself that's narrow minded. You know what I'm saying? So, this profile gets a zero. You know what I'm saying? Because she's talking about, I can't tolerate ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen. She's not that pretty herself. And she's talking about she can't tolerate ugly and fat. And she's a big girl. This is a big girl I'm looking at here. And she's saying how she can't tolerate somebody being ugly and fat. So there's a lot going on in this profile, you know, that's really nasty and just not cool or whatever the case is. 
And so for that, she gets a big fat zero. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, she starts off the profile by saying, stop wasting my time. Who's wasting your time? I don't even know you. I just read your profile. I'm not wasting your time. I, I just read your pro. Who's wasting your time? You're not speak. Listen, this profile, you're speaking to a particular person. If you got a problem with the last guy or whatever, tell the last guy what you got a problem with, sis. But when you write a profile out, you need to be writing a profile that's broad into the masses. You know what I'm saying? This profile just got on my damn nerves by reading it and breaking it down. So let's get into the good profile. Because that right there, that profile just drove me crazy. I ain't even going to lie to you. I, I can't even, I can't do it no more with that one. All right, so let's let's get into, let's get into the good profile. Where's the good profile at? All right, good profile. Okay. All right, so this lady is 53 years old, and I ain't going front. It seemed like every time I do read my profile, JP, it seemed like all the good profiles are coming from the older, the older women. You know what I'm saying? And the bad profiles are coming from the younger women because, you know, I, I would guess experience and knowledge or whatever, and you know what you're looking for as a woman. I guess as you get older, you know, you know how to talk, whatever. But it's just it's just sad to see, like, you know, women that of even my age are coming off real smug. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm I'm 40 years old, and these women are still coming off real smug. So it seemed like all the good profiles is coming from the older women. So here we go. This lady is 53 years old. She has kids. She says, in the hopes of a love where I feel safe and free to be vulnerable, a love that finds me imperfectly perfect, a love that is without conditions and allows me to completely be myself, a love that teaches me that there is power and in loving myself and you, a love where we choose each other every day, a love that is nurturing, understanding, and compassionate. One that will protect and respect my mind, body, and soul. Be the queen to my, be the king to my queen. Black love exists. Let's do this. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Like, that shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? That profile is fire. I'm sorry, I got to read it one more time. But she says, in hopes of a love where I feel safe and free to be vulnerable. A love that finds me imperfectly perfect. A love that is without conditions and allows me to be completely and allows me to completely be myself. A love that teaches me that there is power and in loving myself and you. A love where we choose each other every day. A love that is nurturing, understanding, and compassionate. One that will protect and respect my mind, body, and soul. Be the king to my queen. Black love exists. Let's do this. Yo, that's fire. I'm sorry, but that is fire. That is a fire profile. Like, I ain't even got nothing to say. Like, that's a 10. 10. That's over a 10. That's perfect. Because everything is in there. You know what I'm saying? What you looking for. How you feel. What type of man you want. Everything that's all in there that profile is a 10 out of 10 out of 10 and you can't go wrong with that now that's the type of profile that you read that profile and you want to get to know that woman the profile that i read before the bad profile that profile is a profile that you read you say this woman is narrow-minded she's she's a she you know what i mean she's 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 something you know what i'm saying like something and not in a positive way but she's something you know what i'm saying and the other one is you read because remember last week I read a profile, a, you know, the good profile. It was another older lady. And again, it was like really, really good profile. You know what I'm saying? So it seemed like the older women are coming with the intelligence and the love and the elegance. And the one thing I will say, too, about in today's time, what happened to the elegance and the classiness? Take a drink of water on that.
What happened to the elegance and the classiness? Because when I was coming up and I used to see women or whatever, and I was shy to talk to them or whatever, but they were elegant. I mean, women back in the day, you just don't know. For all the people that was not there, women back in the day were elegant and classy. <laughs> oh my God. Man, now the women today are not elegant and they're not classy. They're more um, blah. You know, they wear sweatpants and sneakers and, you know, they have no sophistication. The women, when I was coming out, let's say when I was like 18, 19, 20, the women were sophisticated. I mean, sophisticated. Even we could go back to the 90s when I was a teenager. The women were sophisticated. They were loving. They were caring. You know what I'm saying? They had, and they were divas. They had, and I don't mean diva like how they say diva now. I mean, they were diva in a positive, sexy, had charisma. They had class. I mean, they had everything. And now, eh. So for the woman, I give her a 10 out of 10. Top of the line, you get no better than her. Her profile is up there with, she's at the top. You know what I'm saying? So she gets a 10 out of 10, and you get, you really, you can't get no better than that. So let's get into, let's see what we got today. Let's get into uh, some topics. Topics, topics, topics. All right, so the topic for today is for the ladies. For the ladies. Say no to fake butts. <laughs> For the ladies, say no to fake butts. And the reason why I'm coming to you today with this for my ladies is, first of all, for my minority women, y'all really don't need to get your butts done, to be honest, because a lot of you already got body. A lot of the women that, you know, in the, in the inner community, the... You know what I'm saying? Like the urban community, you guys already got bodies. So I'm not really sure why you want to continue to, or you looking for a perfect ass or whatever. I don't really know. But the, sh the topic for today is no fake butts. You know what I'm saying? First of all, the fake butts are hard and they're hard on me. So they got to be hard on you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you guys sit on them. I don't know how you guys, like, how you guys can walk around with... And some of these asses are so ridiculous. I mean, it's like, come on. Like, what were you thinking about? Like, how could you do this to yourself? Another reason I want to say for the ladies, stay away from the fake asses because, I mean, people are really dying. Like, you, you're going to, you know, all these different countries and overseas and all this stuff to to get your ass done or whatever, but people are really dying. Like last year I've heard about, and this is just me, just stuff coming to me, not me going through the stats, but this is just people coming to me, telling me stuff or whatever the case is. I heard like five people, like just coming up to me, telling me things, like five females, you know, died in different countries or whatever, you know, having some type of, you know, butt surgery or maybe even cosmetic surgery or whatever. So for the, for one thing is like, is is you know for your health you know it's not good for your health and you know you're going to different countries or whatever the case is to get this done and you may not get off that table and we don't know we don't know the background of this so-called doctor that you're going to see we don't know the background for for this doctor so this doctor could be you know dr seuss he just Call himself a doctor one day, put on a white jacket and rent it out of office and bam, he's a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So for the for the ladies, like, if you want to get the surgery done, if this is this something that you have to do, like, how about saving your money up and getting the surgery done here? You know what I'm saying? In the US. So if something happens to you, there could be, you know, there could be some type of repercussions for you know, if you pass away or if they botch the surgery, there, there could be some type of repercussion. Save your money up. A surgery 
in in the states, and you don't have to get it in New York, but a surgery in the states could cost anywhere between uh, ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars. And you could probably go somewhere, you know, what I'm saying maybe Midwest or whatever. Probably get a good doctor, and you probably could pay maybe you know ten to fifteen thousand dollars. You know, in New York, you're probably gonna pay like maybe like twenty thousand dollars. Maybe I'm not sure, but that's just me coming off the top of the head. But for the ladies. Yes, like, say no to fake butts. First of all, if you want a butt, you can actually get a butt yourself. All you got to do is work out. You know what I'm saying? So work out, put in the work or whatever, and you can actually get a butt. You know what I'm saying? If you want a big butt or whatever, you eat. You eat a little bit more, work out, work on your glutes or whatever, you can get a big butt. I've seen it done. You know what I'm saying? I've seen, pe I've seen women do it. You can do it. You know what I mean? So if you want whatever type of butt you want, you want a nice perky butt or whatever, go to the gym. That's what the gym is for. It, you can get it done in the gym. But the fake butts are uh, at this point, you know, seeing all these fake butts walking around, it's really just like, I'm just <laughs> want to throw up to be honest because it's disgusting. It's nasty. You know what I'm saying? And for whatever reason, it kind of changes a woman type type of personality and attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, for one thing I would say about the fake butts is that women are already, like, shy creatures. I, a lot of women, I don't know why they're doing this because they're already kind of, like, shy creatures. Like, men are more outgoing and men are broadcasters. I mean, we like adventures. So, we go, we, we're not afraid of the spotlight. And I'm not trying to say women are afraid of the spotlight, but they kind of shy away from the spotlight more than a man would. You know what I'm saying? So women are already kind of like shy creatures, and I don't understand why they would want more attention. And I understand this whole Instagram thing is popping off, and, and every time I turn around, there's a woman, she's stripping on Instagram, or she, she's taking her clothes off, or she wants to show her ass. She always turning around, turning the camera around so, like, so the camera can get her ass or whatever. And, and it's so played the fuck out. For the ladies, this whole camera thing with showing your ass on Instagram and turning the Turning the, the you're turning around so the camera can get your ass. Yo, you're played, you're corny, you're bugging, and you're a clown. Straight like that. You're a clown for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how like we I see ass every day. I see ass every day. I don't really need to see your ass on Instagram. I go outside right now. I see asses all day, all day long. You know what I'm saying? So it's getting just ridiculous. It's getting crazy. It's too much. It's way too much for the ladies. Let's like, like, what are you adding to your life by doing this? Is it all about money? Because I know a lot of women are getting paid on TikTok and Instagram and all this type of stuff. But is it all about money? Is there any way else that you could make a difference in your life and bring revenue into your life without you know, busting your ass down and shaking your ass and turning the camera so that the, so you so you could get your ass shots and and it's the angles and all this type of stuff. Is there any other way, any other way that you could make a difference in your life and bring in revenue with, without you know always constantly showing your ass and getting butt shots and going to other countries and and putting your life in jeopardy for for a butt shot. For 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 to to get injections in your butt or to get and 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 and, and women are doing all types of plastic surgery, not really just just the butt. They're doing the butt too, but they're doing all types of plastic surgery or whatever. So is it really that serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, I've been I've been going to you know catching flights and going to all these different places or whatever, and I've been meeting so many women that's just so dope. And I've been meeting a lot of dope women. And I'll sit down and I'll talk to them. And, you know, college educated and masters and PhDs and all this type of stuff. And I'm just like, wow. Like, this woman is super dope, super intelligent. Like, just got so much things going on. But when you come back to New York, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to keep it a buck. New York is lacking as far as the rest of the, the, rest of the, the world. And the rest of the country, New York is behind. I'm going to keep it a buck. <laughs> like, 
A lot of women here are getting going, you know, and getting butt shots and getting that butt done. Women in other other states because they already got asses. Like the women in other other states, they got crazy asses. Like they got natural crazy butts. Like shit is so big. Like you're like whoa. Like there's no way a doctor could have did that. You looking like that is real. There's no way a doctor could have did something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. The women that I've been meeting, you know, out of New York, pff, dope. Dope, 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 dope. Classy, sophisticated, dope women. You know what I'm saying? And college educated and doing things that is like productive in life. And then when I come back to New York, you got to see the, the butt shots, the butt takes, you know, Taking pictures for the butts, for the, you know, want to get the angles. Make sure you get my angle for the booty shot and hookah shots. And want to smoke hookah while, while I, I put my butt out. And y'all, that shit is, I'm gonna be honest, that's play, it's corny, it's trash. Like, I'm gonna be honest, when I come, when I be out of state and I, I don't be wanting to come back, I gotta be honest. I don't be wanting to come back. I be like, man, I got to come back to this. Like, this shit is whack. You know what I'm saying? So, for the ladies, be careful with this whole, you know, getting your butt done. Be very, very careful. Like I said, if I was you guys and this is that important for you to get your butt done, I would look for a surgeon that's a doctor that's in the States. You know what I'm saying? And I think that anybody that get their butt done, any woman that get their butt done, there should be a, a invasive psychological mental evaluation in order to even, and you should have not, not just like one, a one 10 minute type of session. No, you should have like a three to six month session and you should be able to sit down and talk to the doctor and the doctor after the session is over, the three months is over, then the doctor should be able to say, okay, you know, she's ready for her butt done. But no, like, I don't think that anybody should just be able to just have the money and should be able to go and get their butt done. Like, because I feel like some of these women is something psychological going on and we're not finding out what it really is. Because a lot of women are just looking at other women that got nice butts and their butts could be real. And they're looking at other women, and I want that butt. And I want that butt so I could go on the gram and take pictures. And they're going to other countries, and they're dying. Real talk. This is facts. They're going to other countries. They're going to DR. They're going to Colombia. They're going to Mexico. And they're dying on tables for a butt. You know what I'm saying? So for the ladies, let's be, let's be more, you know, decisive on the decisions that we're making. You know, if you're going to make uh, a, a health decision, because that is a health decision that you're making. If you're going to make a health decision like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would be better if you brought that to the U.S. Because you know here at home, on a home base, if something happened to you, you know what it is. Like, the doctor could get in trouble, all types of, they're going to do investigation. You go to Columbia and you get your butt done. My man was telling me one time, uh, a girl had her butt done and she went to Columbia and she got her butt done, came back. She didn't like the butt. She went back to Columbia to get it done again and she died. So it's sad out here. That's a sad story. I hate to hear stuff like that, but I want all my, all my ladies to let's figure this out. Let's figure this out together. And, and I talked earlier about being a community and let's cultivate each other. Let's nurture each other. This is another thing too, guys, that we got to we gotta really get into. For the guys, we got to find out why our sisters is doing this. You know what I'm saying? Why is our sisters and our, you know, our, our, our Latin sisters and, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are they doing this? Because I got to be honest. And outside of, you know, the black community and the Latin community, I don't really see too much of this. Yeah, white community, but we don't really we don't really count them. You know what I'm saying? They count, but you know, they got the money to do whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? If a sister in the hood is getting her butt done and she's living in the, in, in 14D, she ain't really got the money for this. 
See, a, a white a white woman, she could get her butt done in Colombia or she could get her butt done in the U.S. Because she got the money for it. And if she don't got the money, she got the credit. You know what I'm saying? A sister that's in 14D, she can't get her butt done here just off the whim like that. She had to save up the money or, or whatever, but she's not going to be able to just go and get her butt done. You go to that's why they're going to Colombia and Mexico and DR because it costs like two, three thousand dollars. You get two, three thousand dollars like that. You know what I'm saying? So for the brothers, we gotta find out what's going on with our women, with our Latin women, with our black women, our minority women, to find out what's really good and why are they going so deep and so far for this butt. You know what I'm saying? Like what's what's the what's the real deal with this whole with this butt thing? You know what I'm saying? And I don't think for men, because we so we love butts so much that, we, you know, a lot of men probably don't really care. But a lot for the men, a lot of women are dying for these butts. The butts that we love, a lot of women are dying for them. You know what I'm saying? So let's look into that a little bit and find out, you know what I'm saying, what's really going on. Listen, guys, I want you guys to like, comment and subscribe to the show. You know what I'm saying? Listen, that's just about the end of the JP show. Um, I do want to say before I go, like, I do just want to say this, like, let's start like having fun and enjoying our lives. You know what I'm saying? Because life is a celebration and let's not take life too serious. Let's enjoy it. Let's have a good time. Let's have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was walking out of Walmart one day and I seen this lady and she had her son with her and she was just yelling and screaming at him and just dogging him. It was a young kid. He was probably like 10, 11 years old, 12 years old. And she was dogging him out and yelling and screaming. I mean, she had this, I mean, like he got to go home with her and I was very afraid for his life, to be honest. Because I'm looking at her, and I mean, you had to see the anger. Come. And I don't know what he was doing that was so bad. Because they was coming out of Walmart, and he had the shopping cart. He wasn't really even, you know what I'm saying? They was by their car. And he wasn't real. I think he was putting the shopping cart back or something like that. But she was just, oh. And, you know, it just made me think, like, what's, what psychologically is she doing to this kid that's going to affect him? In a negative way growing up now listen that kid is going to have to get married to some woman out there what is his mother doing to him you know because this wasn't just like this wasn't just like you know you yelling at your kid or you getting on your kid this was like some real nasty explosive like just bad 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 so psychologically what is she doing to that kid? And I hope that kid has some type of big brother, big sister, or somebody in his life that can mellow out, that can even out that 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 wickedness that his mother is bringing. Because what is his mother doing? If he only has his mother and that's it, then man. And a lot, and this was going on too. in, in life is like a lot of people are, a lot of kids are living with, you know, wicked people. Wicked moms, wicked dads, wicked grandmas, aunties, the whole nine. And so, you know, a lot of females is, they trying to figure out, oh, this guy, why is this guy acting like this? You might want to go back into his background and look at his mother or his father or his grandma, whoever raised him, because how he's acting, it's probably somebody in his family that's acting like, like that, that taught him that. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, today I just want to come to you guys and say, yo, let's celebrate each other. Let's lift each other up. If there's somebody that's not feeling good or whatever the case is, yo, let's lift them up and let's bring them, let's bring them in, give them a hug because life is a celebration. Let's be happy. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy this life because to be honest with you, like, listen, for me, I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. Like for me, you guys know I've been going through this whole kidney function, I mean, kidney disease thing or whatever, and I got a new kidney in May of last year, but it hasn't been all great or whatever. And so my kidney functions is, is not doing the best or whatever. It's, it's okay, it's staying stable, but they feel like it could be better than what it is. You know what I'm saying? So now I got to go through a whole nother different treatment, you know what I'm saying? Starting, I'm actually supposed to be starting on Friday, but I'm going to see if I can start on Monday. 
I got to go through a whole nother treatment or whatever just so, you know what I'm saying, because my kidney is not is not acting right. So, listen, we we don't got much time on this earth, guys. We don't have much time on this earth. We got to figure out a way where we can we can have fun, we can laugh, we can enjoy each other. For the women I talked earlier, for the women I talked earlier about you guys having bad attitudes or whatever the case is, we want, for the men, we want to have fun with you. We want to have a good time with you. So lighten up a little bit. Let's enjoy each other. Let's enjoy each other's time while we're here on this earth. And let's have fun. Yo, that's the JP show for the day. I love you guys. I enjoyed the show or whatever. Great show. We'll be back next week. Next week, the topic of the show is black women versus the field. <laughs> Black women versus the field. Let's get it on. It's the JP Show. I holler.